The city of Sevastopol in occupied Crimea came under a missile attack overnight on May 15, with Russian media outlets reporting explosions and fires. Russian air defense units repelled a massive attack against Sevastopol overnight on May 15, the Russian-installed head of Sevastopol, Mikhail Razvozaev, claimed via telegram. Wreckage of an intercepted missile hit private businesses, Razvozaev said. No casualties have been reported. Explosions were heard in the city and fires are still burning near the Belbek military airfield, local residents told the Russian telegram news channel Astra. Astra reported, citing local residents, that there were about 20 missiles and that something is still burning near the Belbek airfield. Some 10 atoms were unleashed on the annexed peninsula in a massive attack. Despite the claims, Ukrainian monitoring group Crimean Wind reported, an hour after the end of the missile attack on the Belbek airfield, the number of fires in the aircraft parking area became many times larger. And the fires themselves became stronger. In an effort to bolster defenses against Ukrainian drone attacks, the occupiers have reportedly installed barricades across Sevastopol Bay. Authorities reportedly shut down traffic on the Crimean bridge amid the missile attack. Ukrainian forces previously attacked the Belbek airfield with scalp storm shadow long-range cruise missiles on January 31, damaging at least three Russian military aircraft. In recent months, Ukraine has intensified its attacks on occupied Crimea, targeting Russian military assets in and around the Black Sea. At the beginning of April, according to satellite images, there were many enemy aircrafts at this airfield. We are talking about 30 Russian planes and helicopters. Among them are 10 Su-27-30, 4 MiG-31, 6 MiG-29, 3 L-39, 4 Mi-8, 2 Ka-27-29, 1 Su-25. In addition, the airbase has approximately 15 hangars where enemy aircraft can be hidden. Europe will have to fight Russia along its borders. The next few weeks will be critical for Ukraine, writes the Times. It is noted that Ukrainian commanders are now calculating the motives for the advance of Russian troops of the Kharkov region. Is this a ploy designed to divert Ukrainian reserves from the battle for Chasov Yar, an important strategic position in the Donbass, or is this a real attack on Kharkiv? Supposed that on this section of the front the Russian Federation has accumulated about 35,000 military personnel. This is clearly not enough to capture Kharkov itself, but perhaps this is not the goal. If the Russians manage to get just a few kilometers further, they will be able to point barrel artillery at the city and begin an aggressive bombardment. Presumably the goal is to move southwest towards Liptsa, a larger village about 25 kilometers from the center of Kharkov. If the Russians get there, NATO allies will have to watch what happens to the city and wonder if they could have prevented it by sending planes and munitions earlier, the publication said. It is indicated that at the moment, Russian infantry is mainly attacking small settlements in relatively small numbers, apparently more focused on expanding the front line than on deepening it. And the most pressing problem for Ukrainians now is the movement of Russian troops to the southeast towards Volchansk. To the west of the city, the Russians have advanced furthest towards the Donetsk River. If they take the bridge of Bukrovatka, they could cut off Ukrainian logistics supplies to the city. Advancing south from there along the Donetsk River would make it difficult to supply the city of Kupiansk. Larger Russian forces have long been. They are trying to push the Ukrainians back across the Oskol River in order to threaten the main Ukrainian forces in the Donbass from the north, writes the Times. Pointing out that the next few weeks will be critical, the publication asked questions. Will Western artillery ammunition arrive in Ukraine in time to change the situation? And will European countries be ready to part with their Patriot air defense systems to deter Russian aircraft? It is noted that with a few good options, Ukraine's allies should expect further requests from Kyiv to finally untie their hands or they will have to fight the next war along European borders.